What up, Leo? Thank you guys for tuning in. So I wanted to get some love spreads out for you guys. So let's see what's going on. Uh, now this is going to be, I'm going to do general first, and then I'm going to do singles and then couples, okay? But the title will be based off the general rate, okay? So let's see what's going on with you guys. And happy birthday to those of you who are having birthdays right now. That's awesome. I hope you guys are having a blast. So let's see what is happening for the sign of Leo and love. Past, present, future. And if you guys want to timestamp these so people can find it easier, I would appreciate that. All right. What is happening for the sign of Leo in love? All right, guys. So the energy of this reading is the six of pentacles in the reverse. You're either doing too much or not enough for this relationship, but there's not an even uh, distribution of effort being put into this. Okay, but you could be getting yourself out of something that's toxic. Okay, and just feeling a clarity of things after some secrets came out. But eventually you guys might be happy to cut off communication with somebody. We've got the eight of wands in the reverse now. So let's see how this plays out. Now in the past, there's something that was burdening you, a start that you may have wanted, that you had problems getting off. And there's a certain, it's like you have to step back and say, you know, is this something that's going to work for me with that judgment card there? Why is this Ten of Wands here? So you felt burdened in the past. And it's like you were holding on to, uh, you were holding back. You were holding on to your heart, holding on to your assets or your resources. And you could have tried cutting someone out. Or you could have been in a, you could have been dealing with an air sign, but you also could have been in a place where it's just like you have your guard up. The Queen of Swords, anytime you know the swords pop up, it's usually after some sort of disappointment that you've had in terms of love. So here it's like you're trying to guard yourself against something and really be cold towards something. Now let's see what this ace of wands in reverse is about. Yeah, heartbreak. All right. You made the decision not to start something, not to continue with something because you were heartbroken. There's some sort of disappointment that came here. Either you gave the disappointment to someone else or they gave it to you. And that might be what the judgment was to walk away from this. Ooh. Yeah, page of cups in the reverse. Not going through with this. Somebody not being emotionally available or choosing not to be emotionally available. And there may be a new start that you did think about taking. Now, the full card, that's the energy of wanting to do something. That's not you actually doing it. So let's see how it plays out. Okay. So we have the lover's card. And you feeling lost about whoever your lover is or whoever it is that you're thinking about. And, you know, just feeling lost with them. Being worried in your head. Now, remember, guys, this card, this is something that we uh, inflict upon ourselves. Okay. That's us being in our heads. That's us thinking too much. Why is this lover's card here? You know, could be some arguing, bickering, pettiness with this lover. And feeling like you have to move away from them. So maybe back here, you know, this new risk that you may have been thinking about doing with this person, you made the judgment that maybe you shouldn't. Okay? Maybe you should hold back on what you're feeling right now. Why is this Nine of Swords here? Seven of Pentacles. It's like you're moving away from this person, but you're still worried about them. And you're being patient. You're still there. All right. Story time, guys. So I see two people here. Okay? I see somebody who's stable and grounded in this relationship. And then I see somebody who's going apeshit. We have the King of Swords in the reverse and the King of Pentacles upright. So you could be dealing with an air sign or an earth sign. If you're dealing with an air sign, this person's acting up. If you're dealing with an earth sign, they're trying to be stable and there for you. Or that could be you taking the energy of just trying to be stable and the other person could be going off or vice versa. Um, you know, the other person could be the stable person and you're going off about something that you're unhappy about. 
but you're not feeling proud right now. You're feeling like things are out of control, okay? And you're using your intuition. And with the Page of Swords, you're being very direct about this. So you're communicating very well. And, you know, you could be just trying to cut this out, but everything here is making you feel lost ultimately. Okay, you have the Two of Wands in the reverse and the Page of Wands in the reverse. Feeling lost, the messages of passion not coming in. You could be offering this person something, they could be offering you something, but it's not being taken. They're kind of just looking at you like, I don't know. Moving forward, we have the Knight of Swords. So, Knight of Swords is someone who has a very direct vision. It's a person who's able to cut people out if, uh, if need be. Or this could be, you know, an air energy that you guys are working with. Now, it's like you're trying to cut this out, and so you're trying to run away from this, and you're just trying to find a new path, something that better suits you with the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. But you're moving forward. I do see you guys moving forward. The hangman in the reverse. Okay. So here you guys come up. All right. So I feel that although you're unbalanced about how things played out and how things didn't work out and you're heartbroken and disappointed, um, I feel that you are just coming into your power and you're moving away from this, even though it's hard for you. Okay. And if that's not the case, and then you could still be talking to this person. But maybe thinking about, um, I think you're still talking to them, but you're just not balanced. You may be thinking like, maybe, you know, I need to look elsewhere. I need to go elsewhere. Because if you look at it here, you know, the king of wands, he's not even paying attention to this person. It's like the person's after him and he's kind of like, you know what? No. All right. So that could totally be it. And you're trying to find a different, uh, you know, a different path for you or a different approach. Okay, it could be a water sign in your life or possibly even a Virgo, but I feel that you guys um, are seeing illusions with this and you might just withdraw yourself a little bit and retreat and just go to a place where you can start healing. Just try and find a better path for yourself. Why is this hanging man in the reverse? Ooh. Yeah, I feel that you're just going to give up. Whoever this person was that was giving messages of love, you don't see it as a good thing anymore. You're being strong. This is you. This is your card. And you're just giving up on it because it just brought you too much anxiety, too much paranoia. So I see you guys walking away from somebody or someone walking away from you just to generalize things. Let me just make a note of that. Leo, walking away. Sorry, guys. My mind goes like 100,000 miles sometimes. And I have a lot on my plate today, so I want to make sure I remember how to title this, right? Okay, let's see. What is going on with Leo Singer? What is happening for Leo Singer in the month of August for love, past, present, and future? What is happening for Leo Singer? happening for real singles. Okay. Your energy is the ace of swords. Cutting out bullshit, starting new. Okay? Coming out of a place where you may have been to yourself for a little while. Okay, in hermit mode, just trying to figure out your life. But taking a slow approach to things. To wanting to build something, but doing it slowly. Okay, and just maybe you're talking to someone and you're trying to build right now. Could be something that you really want to go towards. With the king of pentacles in the reverse, make sure that you're doing this out of passion and not because you're just sick of being single. Okay, king of swords in the reverse just does things because he's bored and because it's convenient sometimes. Now, in your past, guys... You're healing from secrets that may have come out, okay? You're seeing more clarity. You're seeing why things have to happen the way they did, why the person treated you the way they did, or why things couldn't work out, or why they did work out, okay? So just little things. What worked for you, what didn't, just seeing clarity for things. But you could still be heartbroken over somebody. Now, with the three of swords in the reverse, this is um, 
this is kind of a denial of emotions. This is saying, you know, I'm good, I'm good, don't worry about me, but you're not. You could go, you could have been going home at night and crying over the situation, but it, you ultimately chose to just let go of the burdens of the past, the heartbreak from the past. But it's like you're trying to put a band-aid on the bullet wound that you had from this past love. Okay? Could have been a water sign that you were dealing with in the past. Or it could have just been you who was extremely loving towards somebody. But you had to completely guard yourself once you came to a clarity about what this person was doing and what they were offering you in the past. Why is this three of swords? Ooh. Give me one more card. Okay. So remember, I said swords always comes out after some sort of heartbreak. You could be bothered by, you know, what's happened and how this transpired. But there's this heartbreak or there's a heartbreak that you're thinking about that you're holding on to in the past. And I feel that this is the energy that you guys are taking on where it's just like, you know what? It didn't work for me. I don't want to fight. And I'm just going to focus on what I need to do in my life. And I'm going to shut this person out. But anytime a sword suit comes out, it's, it's like there's this guard that they have up. And... People can see it as harsh, and it's, and it's not because they mean to be harsh. It's just because they've been really fucked over in the past. All right, so ten of wands in the reverse, just letting it go. We can't control others. We can only control ourselves, right? You're letting go because you want to build stability. Or there may have been an earth sign that came into your life that made you feel like you can, you know, unload on them. And you're moving out of a toxic situation. So I think this is just you guys finding stability within yourself again. Possibly could have been talking to a um, Virgo Capricorn Taurus. Now, done, done, done. You guys are undecided here because somebody from your past is coming back. And they may want to be with you again. Okay? But let's just be careful. If this was the person that broke your heart, you know, don't... The, the problem we make sometimes is we always think about the good feelings we have with the person. We forget all the shitty things they did to us. So remind yourself of the bad, too, and if that's something you're willing to go up towards. So you're feeling good because there's messages of love coming in, possibly from a water sign, but just in general, messages coming in, somebody who's interested. But you're undecided on whether or not you want to move forward with this, although you ultimately think it may be a good thing. Why is this Eight of Cups here? Who's returning? Yeah, because you're stuck in your head about this person from the past that's coming back. But with the Page of Pentacles in the verse, I don't see it, you know, I don't see how it's going to transpire just yet. Because the Page of Pentacles is somebody who wants to get something off the ground, but he's just, he doesn't have the right way of doing it just yet. He has to get back to the drawing boards and find another way, but the situation is making you feel trapped. All right, Six of Cups in the reverse. Let's see what this is about. So this person from the past is manipulating you guys. And you guys may have to just get up and move forward from the situation. But there's some sort of manipulation here. And you guys feel stuck right now. Going into your future, there's something that you may have wanted that's not going to come back in the way you wanted it to. Queen of Cups in the reverse, you're very emotional over this, but you're seeing the clarity of the situation. Yeah, something that you may have been hoping for, you're realizing it's a waste of time and that you got to drop the ball on it. Okay? So the theme is still walking away. And you may be emotional, but you're trying to find balance. Or it could be the other person who's emotional and, you know, you're trying to just find balance in the situation. And it could have been something that really emotionally fulfilled you at one point or another. So that's why you're so emotional over this. You just have to see a clarity about things. And I think you guys are in a place where you're realizing you could love a person and not be with them. You're realizing that this person may have caused a betrayal and that things are going to be a little bit unconventional with this person. Okay. Now, it's funny here because we do have the Ace of uh, the Ace of Cups. So this is emotional fulfillment. And so it's like the feelings that you have for this person, the love you have for this person could be very, very strong. But we have to take a step back and we have to realize that love is not having control over somebody. When you genuinely love a person, you want them to be happy regardless of whether it's with you or whether it's not. Okay. So I think that it's healthy to to realize your emotions, don't deny anything. If you still love this person, you're only human. It's okay to love them. 
but you can love them from a distance, especially if they're starting a lot of havoc for you. Just pray for them and just say, you know what? I hope you're happy. And that's what I've done from people in the past that I genuinely still care about. You know, I had a Leo in my past and I'm always, I, I pray for them daily. Okay. And I hope that they are extremely happy because that's love. I think love is just wanting the person to be happy whether or not um, you guys are together. All right. So what is going on for Leo couples? What is happening for Leo couples? We have the judgment card again, you taking a step back, seeing everything for what it is, uh, making a decision that maybe you want to move forward. Maybe you want to get married to this person. Maybe you want to take things to the next level. We have the judgment card, which is you making this judgment and being very decided about it, being in a place that you're healing from any betrayals or anything that didn't go right with the relationship in the past. And you could be wanting to change things up and get a little bit more serious. So, um, you know, there could be some of you that just recently got into a relationship. And so you're watching this and it's like, okay, you're in a relationship for the first time now with this Leo person. Or it could be you, you know, whatever. So it could be a new relationship you're getting into. Or it could be you just taking it to another level. Engagement, marriage. Okay, just taking that next step. Now, in the past, you moved away from something you were emotionally invested in. And although you were passionate about it, there's just problems with Situation. You guys weren't seeing eye to eye. You weren't communicating well. Why is this? Ooh, I was going to say, why is the Six of Swords here? Because things were out of control. Somebody was being immature in a sense of love. And although you were passionate about someone, you were just feeling a huge loss with them. Okay. Why is this Knight of Wands here? Okay. So you wanted to move towards something that you were very passionate about. All right, you have the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Wands, and the Ten of Cups. So this is really beautiful. This is going towards somebody, you know, with love and wanting to have a very strong foundation with this person. Could have been a water sign that you were dealing with as well. Okay. Why is this Three of Pentacles in the reverse here? So it's like you were very, very happy and you're in a place that you genuinely, you know, cared about this person and loved this person. Um, but there could have been some rejection. There could have been arguing. Somebody rejected somebody and you just needed patience to deal with this overall. Now in the present moment, things may be a bit unstable. Okay. And you could have this night of sorts, you know, tunnel vision where it's like you want to do what's best for you and you want to cut out the bullshit. And you could feel defeated over something. Okay. But you're getting out of your head about things. And you might be wanting to take another risk with this person. Although things are unstable. So I see you guys trying to work through things right now. Why is this Knight of Swords here? You using your intuition, being in tune with your higher self and what it needs, and having wish fulfillment. So I just see, you know, maybe it was a little argument. I don't see it being anything too heavy. But you're very direct with what it is that you want, and I feel that you're communicating very well right now, so you're able to get the wish fulfillment, the outcome that you desired from this. With this Five of Swords, something that you defeat or, defe or feel defeated over. Okay, something that you're not proud of. Okay, where you retreat. So it's kind of like this little emotional roller coaster you guys are having. So things are good one second, they're not the other second. But it's like ultimately there's something that you may come find out or maybe something that you do that you yourself you're not proud of and you have to retreat from the situation moving forward maybe it was a third party situation maybe you guys are finding something to celebrate over but you're getting up from the break that you've taken and you might find that you're not um as emotionally fulfilled as you may have once been or that um 
you're repressing your emotions about something. Yeah. There might be a secret coming out that there's a third party situation and it may put you in a situation where you want to move forward towards something that's going to be better for you, but you don't know how to go about it just yet. So it's like you're, you're stagnant right now. And this is in the future. So you're stagnant when you find this out. But you choose to get up and move forward. You got the four of swords here and be very, very direct with your approach. Okay. A lot of air in the Leo spreads. So you guys definitely could be talking to air signs right now. And this just makes you feel burdened. You're choosing to get up and move forward, but you feel very burdened by the fact that you have to. And now it's like all those emotions are pouring out. All right. The strength card comes up. So you guys are still strong. But yeah, there's somebody here who wasn't being completely honest, emotionally unstable, possibly talking to other people. There could be a third party situation happening here, though. For sure. Yeah. Okay, guys. So I'm sorry if you guys felt like that was rushed, but I wanted to get uh, those three readings out without this video being, you know, 45 minutes long. Love you guys. Good luck with everything. And I'll be back because it is your birthday month, so I will be throwing a lot of bonuses at you guys. Take care. Oh, and if you guys want a personal reading, I will leave everything in the description below. But just know I am working on a website so that it's much easier for you guys to purchase them. So take care.